Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me today on live on Facebook and YouTube. And today I'm going to be making um, an altered bottle or jar, which means that I'm just going to take a jar and dress it up. I'll show you this one in just a second. And so we turn this down. Hi, Kenzie. You jumping on, say hi. And this is the, I'm going to take an ordinary jar and turn it into a cute little jar. You can store stuff in or not store it. You can just have it for a home decor. I did this uh, last night. So that one turned out really cool by Katie. Thanks for jumping on. So basically all you're going to do is take any jar that you have. And I have all sorts of stuff on my, on my desk here. I've got ribbons and some lace. I've got keys and chains and you can take anything you want to add to it. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining. So I'm going to show you, this is, I kind of shoved everything over, but this is like, I just kind of have to throw everything out so I can see what I have and I go from there. So <clears throat> last night I was trying one out, make sure that I liked it, um, but I painted the lids white and then these are the, mold, the IOD molds. So I glued those on last night. And what I want to do is uh, frost it. So I found a really easy way you can frost it. And you just use uh, Elmer's glue and some water. And if you want to color it, you can just add a little bit of food coloring or a little bit of paint. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Elmer's glue. Put a little bit in this cup. <clears throat> Paper towels are going to get me brushes out of them over there. Because again, I forgot to wash my brushes. Actually, where's my big one? Oh, there it is. Anybody working on any projects tonight? Table's all dirty. <clears throat> so I have water in here. I'm just going to squirt some in here and thin this glue out. And I have popsicle sticks somewhere. I know I do. I just put them out yesterday. Oh, there's none. <clears throat> I'm going to stir it up. So I'm sorry I've been in the last couple of weeks. Last Thursday I went to Chicago to visit my daughter. And then the Thursday before that, I don't know what happened. I don't think I was feeling well. So all you're going to do is <clears throat> take this watered down glue and just paint it on your bottle. I like to do the bottom first just to make sure that it's light enough. dry that and see if that's going to be light enough. I might want to add some more water to this. <clears throat> I, I want to be able to um, see through these jars because I store different things in so I want to be able to see what I'm storing inside and I'll also put a tag on it but 
having a visual of what's inside his wounds too. Why don't you make plant markers for my garden? What do you make your markers out of? I, mine always, like I'll keep the ones that the plants come with and they always um, <clears throat> either fade or they crack off. Thinking of getting old spoons and flattening them out and I have like one of those jewelry stamper things with the letters and you can like stamp words on the metal. I was thinking that might work. What do I say, wash off or get some dried and cracked? All right, I think that's good. That's the opacity I want. Is that what it's called? So I'm just going to go ahead and spread the glue around. Eight storing sticks, big box from Amazon. Do they fade though, or does, do the words stay on pretty good? I'm trying to turn this while it's still in my hand and not. <laughs> I drop it. That's good. I'm going to dry that, and if I have to, I can touch it up. <clears throat> I think the sticks and paint the name of the plant. They paint a bunch of leaves. <clears throat> have you planted anything yet, Mary? We still have a lot of rain here. It's sunny today, but it's been very rainy and pretty wet out. You know, the grass needs to be mowed, that's for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Well, I haven't got anything planted yet. I think it's supposedly, according to the farmer's almanac, May 5th was, is the last stretch of frost. And uh, so I haven't planted anything yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I'll start off with my um, with my potted flowers and stuff. Maybe I'll see if I can do that this weekend. I gotta check the weather. Because I don't want to have to bring the pots in the garage if it's gonna still be freezing, you know. So if you're just hopping on, I'm making and creating an altered bottle. This is one that I had already done. Let me find the camera here. So I this is Elmer's Blue Water Down, and I just painted it on here to give it a frosty look. And if you want, you can add some color from either paint or, um, what do you call that, food coloring. Just in a little thing. And I found one spot that I just kind of wanted to fill in a little better. I wanted a little bit white so that I can see what I have inside. <clears throat> So if you're just joining, just let, let me know in the comments if you're working on any projects or what craft or projects you're working on or what you like to work on. Anybody's interested in what everybody's doing and get some inspiration. Start some creativity you want to do. All right, set that aside. I think I'm done with that. I brush away. And then I'm going to make sure. I think it's this lid. I think they're actually both the same size. And this was probably a salsa jar, I think. <clears throat> I know this one is for sure. I have a lot of different bottles too. I have, you can use, um, you know, wine bottles or liquor bottles. So there's a lot of different things you could use. So with this, I'm going to, there, I'm going to um, darken this up. This, I think that, you know, I'm gonna paint this and probably kind of do the same thing. Cause this is, I'm gonna have all these together kind of as a set. Um, i trying to think of the color I used. This is a plaster chalk paint. I actually used a couple of different paints, but I ended up with this one. So <clears throat> now that I know what I like, I can start with that one. And now I have to clean my brushes. A, a brush. I should change my brush water. Getting kind of gross. Yeah, I hope. Uh, I hope spring is here to stay. It'll probably be summer next week. Papers Or oh, I'm sorry, that's not paper. That's the glue. <laughs> the one I put the lid on, which is fine. You're not going to see that anyway. <clears throat> this is already. I don't need to get paint all over it. So I'm just going to shake this up. And I just cleaned, you know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna stir that because I just cleaned all my lids yesterday on these paints. And I don't need to get it all mucked up again. I'm get one of my handy dandy little pops if I see it. These bottles had so much crud on them yesterday. See comments on if you're on Facebook, leave me a comment because I'm going to see if I see the comments. <clears throat> Let's see. 
because I don't see them. I'm, I'm on two different things. I'm on YouTube and on Facebook, but I'm using StreamYard, but I can't see comments. I only see YouTube comments. I cannot see Facebook comments. So I have my phone over here on YouTube, or I'm sorry, on Facebook, so that I could see if anybody leaves a comment. So if you're watching me on Facebook, leave me a comment so I can see if it's working right. Say hi, it would be fun. I like this color. Again, it's called plaster because it's not white, white. It's a little bit like of an ivory, I guess. Go ahead and try that. I want to get the um, our uh, neighbor's brush hogs so we can mow down some areas so I can paint some wildflowers and it's <clears throat> before you like to get that going. Again, it's really wet, so I don't want to be a, a mud bog. <clears throat> Excuse me. My goodness. All right. Um, so now I want to... Got this wax, but it's going to be a little dark. This is a uh, antique wax. I'm going to water that down a little bit. So these little cups are handy. <clears throat> I have like one lid, but I have like 50 cups. I don't know how that is. Not that I need them, but. <clears throat> and again, I'm going to scoop a little bit in here. I don't want to pour it because I just cleaned all these. And I don't want to goop it all up again. All right, should be good. And spray some water in there. Thin it out. So I started watching another new program yesterday <coughs> called White Lotus. It's on HBO. Pretty interesting so far. I got caught up with Succession because everybody's talking about that one. And uh, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, I got caught up on that one. So just, those two, I have to wait for the... Um, the newest ones to come out, <clears throat> but it's the end of the season for both of those. All right, so I'm just going to like dry brush some of this on there. Make the flower pop. Put some on the edge, edges and
Anybody watching any good programs? Programs, I sound like an old lady. <laughs> Are you streaming anything good? How's that? All right. And then I'm going to wipe some of this off. So it's a lot darker than the other one, which is fine. But I can also add some lighter, lighter wax to this to lighten it. What do you think? I think I'm going to add some white wax to that and just lighten it up a little bit. This maze is good this season. I'm glad they are getting forward in time. Yeah, I, I was trying to figure out how they were going to close it off too. <clears throat> when I when I turned on the first episode, though, I was like. Huh? I was a little confused. Because it was a think back from her daughter. So this will lighten it up a little bit and then I can also wipe it down and should be good. Mackenzie and I went to um, went to see the play Into the Woods when I was in Chicago this past weekend, and <clears throat> uh, last minute thing, but we were able to get tickets. I don't know they were like forty three dollars a piece. They weren't too bad. They were up in the balcony, but it was a smaller theater, so still good seats. And um, so it's a, if you're not familiar with it, it's a, the play is about all the, a bunch of Grimm Brothers characters like Jack and the Beanstalk, Cinderella, the butcher and his wife, and um, the giant, uh, Rapunzel, there was two princes, and it's a musical. So it was, it was funny. It was real, they did a really nice job. And the premise of it is that the baker and his wife want to have a baby, but they can't. Oh, and the witch, the witch was really good. Um, so the witch tells them that they have to go gather all these things. Oh, Little Red Riding Hood was in it too. She was really good. She's hilarious. Um, anyway, so they um, to get the curse off of them, they have to go. The baker and his, the baker and his wife have to go gather some things, like the Little Red Riding Hood's cape. They have to get one of Cinderella's shoes and they have to get uh, a white, a milky white cow. So this the actual cow is called Milky White in the play, but it was this huge puppet that an actual person like walked around with it. It was hilarious. Anyway, there was one point where Cinderella and um, the baker's wife were, the baker's wife was trying to get one of Cinderella's shoes. So they're arguing, they're going back and forth and back and forth and Cinderella tosses uh, the baker's wife one of her shoes and it lands in the orchestra pit. <laughs> and it, at first we're like, was that supposed to happen? And we're like, yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. And it was it was hilarious. They played it off really well. Um, <clears throat> and I they got the shoe back later. Um, the, there was no orchestra in the pit though. They were, they were behind on the stage, so. Um, but anyway, it was hilarious and, and they played it off really well, like I said, but the singing was, was really good and, um, they did a really nice job. All right. I think I can throw all this out. And a spoon. Once I can wipe it off and reuse the spoon, which I should be able to do. <clears throat> 
But I hadn't been to a play in a while, so that was it was nice. We were tired though. I was really tired. We had gone out for dinner beforehand and uh so I was full and it was hot in there and I was falling asleep and to for them to um create the sound of the giant or the feel of the giant, they they just have a booming voice over the um, you know, over the microphone and they would like uh do a like a big boom sound and I, I kind of dozed off and then the giant they made a big boom sound and it scared the shit out of me and I jumped and Kenzie's laughing at me but it was like oh my gosh I gotta stay awake because it's gonna keep scaring me <laughs> <clears throat> all right so we can kind of go <clears throat> the same lines as this one with the <laughs> Excuse me, with the lace and stuff, or I could do something different. So let me see what I have here. I mean, that would be cute just by itself. Decorate around it. And that actually would be cute. It's got a stain on it, but that's all right. I can cover that up with something. Uh, let's see what else I got here. I have two. I can put one on the other side, but I probably don't. Let's see. I like this color, it's pretty to put around there, maybe. All right, what am I looking for? Oh, maybe, oh, it's a different size. Is it? This looks the same, it's a little smaller. No. Then I sit in the balcony and spend the first hour. How oh, do you? <laughs> Kenzie's just reading the captions. Are you still walking about? Oh, there's two of these. All right, let me see if I want to do two. I do one on each side. Yeah, I think I'll do that. <clears throat> people message me about the hour. Hang on, I'm on live right now. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Didn't want him to say anything he didn't want to say. <laughs> He's trying to sell his car. All right. I'm just using this, uh, I think it's a Fabri-Tec. Fabri and I love this bottle that it's in. It's so nice. Hopefully I'll get this on straight, but if I don't, oh well. It will work out fine. I should probably try and dry this though before I turn it to the other side because this is going to be sticky. That didn't work. Sticky fingers.
<laughs> he passed out climbing the stairs. Yeah, I can get, uh, it wasn't too bad. <clears throat> passed out walking up the stairs to get to the balcony floor, though. <laughs> Not the actual seats themselves. It was a really cool stadium, or stadium, uh, theater. Like I said, it wasn't too big. Um, it was the, I think it's James Niederlander Theater. Apparently, according to the people that were chatting a lot behind us, it used to be the Oriental Theater. But it's not the original Oriental Theater, I guess, because the original one burnt down. I don't know. I didn't really look into the history of it. I was just listening to the encyclopedias behind us. Luckily, they didn't talk throughout the whole uh, play. That would have been rude. All right, I'm going to try that. <clears throat> yeah, I like the smaller ones too. This one is probably about the size of a uh, Detroit Opera House. If you go to the middle of the room. It was really pretty, very ornate. It was a... Um, <clears throat> Um, what was it? A seahorse with it with an elephant's head <laughs> that was kind of repeated in the columns. That was really cool. I'll have this stick to my table when you turn it on and put the other one on. Pretty sure I picked up this lace at the same cheap store in Romeo. They had a, a, they have a sale every couple months and they get a ton of lace and other things. <clears throat> Some stuff for Mackenzie's journal. If you haven't watched the YouTube video on that, the, the, the surprise is out. I gave it to her this past weekend. I posted the video last Friday and I gave it to her, um, I think that Friday. So the cat's out of the bag and the video's out. So if you want to see a flip through of that, we'll jump on YouTube. And I'm going to put the other one on your side, but I can make sure. Which one is it? It's this one. Put this one away. All right. I guess that's going to stay. I don't need those to hold it. And glue on here. If you're just jumping on, say hi. Let us know what project you're working on, if anything, or are you just stopping in to, to see what I'm working on? I'm picking an old salsa jar and turning it into a pretty altar bottle look to hold some um, different things I have things that I use for like a potpourri or like a simmer pot, like rose petals and cinnamon sticks, pine cones, things like that. So I like to store those in the jars just because it looks pretty. So just creating some 
beautifying some salsa jars. I was going to use, I started cleaning off, uh, getting the labels off the Crown Royale bottles. And um, so while that was, I actually had to soak those in water, hot water and soap. And I thought, oh, I'm going to try these. So this is what I ended up doing. But I have lots of bottles. I have them. I've got all, yeah, all sorts of Crown Royale and wine bottles, different liquor bottles, some unique, some just kind of plain, but you can always dress them up. At Halloween time, I like to make apothecary bottles with them. I've done that a few times. I even held a fun little party at my house. And Focus Pocus came out and we all decorated the apothecary bottles. So it's all sorts of fun ways you can also use. And take something that you would just go and recycle and reuse it. You could start coffee in it. I keep also keep the um, like the large candle jars. After those are all burnt down, then you can save those. Clean them up very good, and those are nice to reuse too. But this is what we do here: we just hang out and craft and chat. And talk about whatever. <clears throat> talk about shows we're watching. <clears throat> Anybody taking any trips coming up next couple months? Not too sure what. I mean, the only thing we have planned right now is um, our annual canoe trip, which is in July. And it's funny that we call it our canoe trip because we canoe for two hours the whole weekend. <laughs> but there's, um, I don't even know, four or five families that go now. No, it's a lot of fun. Can go to Northern Michigan to Higgins Lake. I think that's where we're going this year. Yeah, last year we went somewhere else because we couldn't get into Higgins Lake. All right, so that's the lace so far. I gotta clean off my desk here or tabletop because it's you don't like the sticky on there. Hang on, I'll get my bread. I'll just keep picking at that glue and it'll drive me nuts. I usually keep like a paper on here or something, but I didn't do that. I'll keep that handy in case I need it. All right. So let's see. Now I gotta figure, I don't see if there's glue in here. There we go. See, this does have a couple of stains on it, but there, but I could possibly put something over it. So now I need to figure out kind of what I want to put around the top as far as any ribbons go. And I do think I want to use this because it's I love this color. Isn't that pretty? And let's see. This this one's not gonna be long enough. But if I use this, I don't think I want to use this one. This will be too thick. Um, I can 
here's this. And all the, the links can be different. This is kind of what you like. This one will stay that link. This one will stay that link. This one. Um, let's see what else do I have. Ah, sticking to me. Sticking to my dry skin. Do another one like this. And let's see. Could use this. Do you have that on the other one? I have a bunch of green, but I don't want green. I'm trying to just stay a little neutral. I think this will be too thick too. Looking for thinner, like this, but I don't think I have enough of that one. Um, but this is the fun part of it, is just kind of picking what you want to put on it. Decorate it. Uh, that might be it. I thought I had more. Work. Oh, wait. That's, that's, that's not my still one. <clears throat> that will be too big. I have over here. I have this. Maybe I'll put this on there. That'd be pretty. And what else? This is a uh, cording. Which I might use because I used that for the key last time, I think. Or did I? No, I used something else. Keep that over here in case people want to look at it. Kind of see what I'm using for reference. So I think I do want to use that. And I'll save that recording for a second. Um, all right. What are these? I have magnets. And buttons, of course. I always have buttons. I love buttons. So what I want to do is kind of gather all this and tie it on. So let me see if I can do this. <clears throat> Took a little bit of finagling yesterday because I want to tie it all in together. Uh, so I kind of have to lay out how I want it. Smaller stuff. Get that out of my way. Okay, so this, this fuzzy stuff just sticks to your dry skin. I think I might put this one here. This one. Stay. This one's going to go like that. So I want it to go like this. All right, wish me luck as I try to Put this all on here and tie it at the same time. Yeah. I'm gonna put the knot on, on the side here. Oops, see, I already lost one. Uh, 
Come on. See this thing. And I can always maneuver stuff around and glue things down. But for the most part, I like to get it all in the same knot. Like that, I think. So I don't like how this one's sticking out so much. <laughs> see, and you can't see it. It's underneath. It got all folded up. All right. So try this again. Thank you for watching me struggle here. Struggle is real. I think I'm going to put that on top. I wanted to show, but it's really not showing. All right. <clears throat> I kind of don't like that. So, I'm going to go like that. Go like this, and wish me luck as I tie it on. Oh, the struggle is real here, folks. There we go. All right. Let's see, I don't like that either. Maybe this one just doesn't. I don't know. It's covering up too much. All right. Try again. This one I'm going to tie on by itself and see. So it can be down a little lower. Give up and use a bread twist tie, then glue a button on the cover. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I, I use my body butter. Or the lotion sticks come in handy too. Obviously, you can't use it when I'm. I use the body butter when I'm handling this stuff. It's going to get it all greasy. Baby. And I'm going to try and do these at the same time. I did not have this much problem last night, honestly, because I'm I'm on camera now and this ribbon's camera shy. It doesn't want to perform. <clears throat> All right. Let me just kind of see what's going on here. I have no idea what it belongs to. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I mean, it is, it's kind of like junk journaling. Anything goes, right? You just do what looks good to you. So let me see. I play around with this and get something that I like out of all this mess. I think I might have to take that pink one out because it's just not. Oh, sorry, folks. 
I could, I guess I could, yeah, I don't want to cut that. I twist it. Just trying to make it thinner so it doesn't like stick out so much. But that color is still in there, you know? All right, let's see if that works. A little twist. Can't twist the whole thing because it's in the back of that one ribbon. I'll show when I don't like the back of this ribbon because it's not as pretty as the front. I'm getting there. I think I'm getting there. Oh, and I also have to be careful because the lid has to shut. So I gotta stay below the treads. <clears throat> I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna put like that a little bit and put a button on it. I should have cut them a little longer though, because I like how this one like dangles and stuff, but I could add some stuff to this. I think. I think I have any pearl. I have pearls, but I don't think I have any. Um, a, um, on a string that are already strung. I thought this might be cute. Hang a bottle from a bottle. Wouldn't that be cute? Maybe put something in the little bottle. All right. Let me play with this. I'm going to glue. See, the nice thing about having it sideways is that I can hide that one stain. That should be fine. I'm going to glue that down. I should have heated up my hot glue gun. Oh. <clears throat> going to glue that. I got the Into the Woods song stuck in my head. So if I kind of glue that together. What do you think? Yeah, I could sew on a button. But then I gotta get my sewing stuff out. <laughs> that should be fine. Because that's kind of what I did with this when I glued it. And then I put a button on it. But I kind of thinking I want some pearls on here. So it might take a while. Maybe I'll wait and I'll do that off camera. So you guys don't have to sit here and watch me pearl. I'll put pearls on a thing. So let me get a button. My handy dandy bar buttons. Oops, I like ones that have uh, that have the thread still in it. I just think those are cool. I'll use that one. Here. 
<clears throat> trying to think if I want if I put the pearls on if I want the pearls to hold a key see that way too with the with the um, thread still in the button it looks like it's sewn in there All right. Um, and then, like this one, I like this, the little charms that are on here. Those are cute. So let me find. Some charms. Okay. Here's this one. It says stay curious and I um I rusted it up with you use um Mod Podge and what do you call that stuff? Cinnamon, powdered cinnamon. You sprinkle it on there and you rust it up because otherwise it's like this. It's shiny. Oops, let me see. There we go. So I rusted it up. So I think I'll use that. So stay curious. This one says, like the way. This one's really crusty. Something shine like the stars. Um. So I just need to figure out how I want to hang it, which I could put it on these. So I think that'll hold that. I could put more than one on too. I gotta figure out how to open these. I always forget. All right, so that'll work. Oh, you know what I want to do? It's stuck, stuck to my fingers. Um, I can use, oh, I have rings. I'll use the rings, which I also have crested up in the room, but that might be one. I'll just use these two. Should be good. I have these tiny, tiny little, like a binder clip. Aren't those cute? So I'm going to use these for now and my pliers. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to drink water here. Put this little ring on here. I can find the opening. There it is. Make what? Make dangle. Yeah, that's what I thought. What did I get the tiny binder clips? Um, that's a Tim Holtz product. So at uh, Joanne's or Michael's. Joanne's has the best Tim Holtz selection. I found the Joanne's um, here in Michigan on Hall Road has a huge Tim Holtz selection of stuff. I almost passed out when I walked in the store. I was like, oh my gosh, they got everything. Dangerous for the wallet, but I was very excited. All right. I thought I would have them dangle on the pearls, but I'm, I don't know. 
Maybe I'll have this dangle on the pearls. So that's gonna go like that. Somehow, I don't know. Uh-oh, the button fell off. I think I'm gonna, let me turn on my hot glue gun. I gotta find it first. I put everything away. Now I'm gonna fall out. And I need a uh, glue stick. Here they are. I'll let that heat up and I'll put that button back on. Maybe I'll hang that from the from the pearls, I don't know. Could also make that a little shorter. I kind of like it long. They don't have really a lot of long things on here. I kind of wanted, which I could add. Like I could add this. Yeah, this is fine. Like add this cording underneath it. Let that hang down a little bit. Maybe I'll do that. doesn't want to stay then I can tuck it up there and glue it but I think I can get it to stay a double knot here yeah. kind of wonky it's going to straighten out a little bit. Maybe I'll twist it. I'll twist it and I'll put one of those little clips on. See if it stays. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to trim this a little bit. Put the clip on and I'll see what it looks like. I know what's going to happen. It untwisted. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to play with this too. Let's see, figure out what I want to do with that. So I'm not gonna bore you with that. Is it 7.34, my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys go and I will uh, post pictures tomorrow on Facebook and you can see the final final ones. I'm going to do three of them. So I obviously I already did that one. And this one pretty much done. Just a few more little embellishments for that one. And then this one needs to be done. Um, just the lid and the decorating. So I'm going to work on that tonight, and um, let me pop the camera back up. I will post the pictures tomorrow. I have a bunch of, oh, I could put a little clock on it. That would be cool. I'll have to look in here and see what I got. You know, these little, I think I got these in bolts also. Like these little metal clocks. Maybe I'll do that on the third one. And so to keep little trinkets and stuff. Um, this one's this is like more steampunk. But I have a bunch of 
these in here and gears and different things. So take a look and see what I want to do. So if you haven't had a chance, make sure you go watch the video on YouTube of uh, the journal, the interactive junk journal with prompts. And um, if you want to print off the prompts, there's a link on the YouTube video if you want to use those for your own journaling. Um, and I think that's it. And then tomorrow I'll show pictures of these. And then I'm also going to have a video on YouTube um, about how I made that one. You can be on the lookout for that. So thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate you again coming by and I will see you. Um, well, make sure you jump on the Facebook group and show me the latest projects that you're working on. So I'll post some pictures. Um, we're here to support everybody and their projects that they're working on to get inspiration. If you have any questions, you know, about a project you're working on, somebody in the group can probably help you out with their knowledge or point you in the right direction. And uh, yeah, so thanks again for stopping by and I'll talk to you later. Bye.